It's cruise morning. Where are you on your way to, honey? Work. It's an oasis, honey. It's just a getaway. Yes. We will see. We are doing a Uber. Yes. To Port Canaveral. Should be an hour and a half drive, hour drive. Uh, Not that far. An hour. That's pretty good. Again, we were at the. This is the Marriott. Which uh, branch of the Marriott? Uh, Town Place Suites. Very, very nice. And the little advantage player here got it for free. Free. Bag tags. Bag tags. Lucy, you gonna bark at him now? Lucy, you gonna attack him? <laughs> no. You waiting on your taxi? Yeah. Uber. Uber this time. Hi, kids. Ready to go. Day number two. Boarding day. What did we say we're first gonna do? Go to the solarium and lunch. Lunch at the solarium. One of the things that's going to be interesting today is if we can get VIP boarding. Because Players Tour, which uh, booked the cruise for us, gave us the cruise. On the phone, I first talked to her, said the, you got the free drink car without having to play for a thousand, a thousand points on Royal Caribbean. Um, and she'd give us VIP priority boarding, which is great because that's one of the reasons we haven't gone from Carnival. is the, You miss out on all the perks when you start all over on the new cruise line. How are you doing today? Getting close, honey. <laughs> Almost there. Which cargo ship is here? Fantasy Sensation. Getting excited, guys. We can see the ships. There's one of the cargo ones over there. Oh, there's some parasailers. That'd be so fun to do. Oh, yeah. That looks so choppy. to expect when they get to the cruise port. Ah, she's getting her tip money ready, right? For the port. What'd you say the porters? Five bucks? I flat? Give them five bucks. In the hopes that they don't lose your bags or something. I don't know. It's like superstition. <laughs> and remember, you're not going to see your bags for a while, like till in the afternoon. So yeah. make sure you're bringing everything in your carry-ons that, that you you're going to use, like on the deck, even at, if you're planning on swimming, bring your trunks, all on your carry-ons. Medications, yep, passports. Don't forget passports, that's another one. And the baggage guys will usually ask you, do you have your identification and stuff? Yeah. How long's the wait usually, would you tell people? If you're a first time cruiser and you're not right now, like you and super duper platinum, just walk on the ship. Yeah, probably about an hour, I'm guessing. Get your passport. Yeah. And get there early. You're just wasting your day. The earlier you get there, then you can get like an extra half day. You can go swimming, get some food, hang out. Tour the ship. That's a good day to just walk around the ship and get acclimated to it. And this is going to be fun because uh, we're going to have to explore everywhere. Everywhere. And this is your cruise? Yes. Yep. You are lucky. <laughs> I hope you're going to get to uh, very good stuff. It'll be a fun day. Yeah, it's huge, huh? Yes. Yeah. 6,000 6, people. Yeah, you are, and you can make friends there. And yeah. <laughs> and what time it's going to be uh, shipping? Uh, 5 o'clock, I think. Passenger vehicles, commercial drop off straight ahead. Yeah. Drop off. I think this one. Yeah. Drop off, pick up. Yep, yeah. that's it. No internet. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, they have it on the ship, but we don't buy it because we just like to get away. We don't want anybody to be able to call us. <laughs> if I'm yours, I, 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 I will not read the news. Yeah. Watch TV. Yep. Yeah. And just go internet. Get away yeah. from it all. Just <laughs> Where are the porters? Their porters are over here. Why are they telling us to go? Yeah, that's correct. We gotta go there. Yeah, ask her where the porters are. Here? Yep. Oh, it's up there. That's where you'll drop us off. Here they are. We have to remember this is the Royal Caribbean yeah. terminal too, so 
Yeah. It's like the so Royal Caribbean is set up a little bit different than Carnival. I did too. Oh my gosh. That took forever to do. <laughs> all this luggage. It's really amazing how they sort it all out, you know. some paperwork or something I don't know I don't know either but we did skip the line so that's a good it wasn't on purpose and then we should have I was promised anyways but it was very strange oh my I gosh, guess if you act like you know what you're doing like yeah because like she asked about priority and Climb it up we didn't hole. have it yet but our agent said it should be waiting for it I'm just telling you I'm not stopping I know <laughs> Finally, ding ding. That was crazy. Ugh, lordy, lordy, wow. How are you today? Welcome aboard. Thank you. So, what's the plan, Stan? Um, what time is it? Don't ask me that. <laughs> I can put my stuff down and dig my phone out. It's okay. 8 afternoon. Okay, well let's go eat. There's a clock right there. Huh? There's a clock on the wall right there. That's how I figured out it was 8 afternoon. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um, where are we going? 15, yeah. There's food there. That's all I know. That's the important. <laughs> well, this is cool how they have. You look up there, yeah. it's got, so you know like, where you're okay. at and where you're going. Yeah, and what day it is. Where's that at? Right there. Oh, you got your drunk wives on us? Yeah. You just now noticed that? I thought it was a uh, Ohio State gear. Um, shit, so, on the wrong side. Oh, you have to walk all the way to the back? The front. Well, give us a chance to. Oh, this is the back? We need to go towards the front. The aft, right? This is the aft. I'm horrible at the uh, ship instruction. Oh, they got it blocked off? Excuse me. Elevator, lobby, pool, and sports. Turn right here? Yes. Ah. Yeah, they still. So I made a mistake in my hat. It doesn't quite fit on tight, so it blows off in every little piece of wind that's out there. Hey, stop! You're pinching me off on the curb. Oh, come on, you're inside, Jimmy Johnson. You gotta make way for it. You can't edge me down into the grass like that. I do have to stop and tie this shoe when we get a chance because yeah. my shoelaces are off. Now, for those of you that are smokers, I do have to tell you, there's one smoking deck. It's on deck 15. We're in it right now. Unfortunately, it's enclosed. And I always kind of like the being able to get the breeze, you know, and walk up to the railing and look over because you'll see these windows are just really dirty. If you are a smoker, which you shouldn't do because it's bad for you, um, just know about that deck 15 forward on the port side and we know from Chantel you remember left and right port has four letters and left 
has three letters. Four. No, it, has, it has it has four four letters. Okay. Salmon and some seafood rice. I don't see any seafood in it. Oh, there is one piece of seafood. Yeah, I couldn't stand waiting there for people. They put a, a carving station right in the middle of the line, and the carving station should be somewhere else or at the end of the line because everything I wanted was just past the carving station. So I figured I was going to just skip around to get to the spot I wanted and then right as I'm walking past the carving station the guy that was at the carving station and holding everybody up he was done and then the next four people they didn't need meat from the carving station so they all swarmed into the area that had been sitting there for two minutes with nobody at. But tell people about boarding. Okay so we I've been on like 20 plus cruises. I had no idea what was going on in that boarding area today. I mean, I literally had no idea. Really though, the only thing that screwed us up was not having the, the right document. The, the C pass. We didn't have the right document. But they let us on, and then we just had to fill out a paper one and bring it with us. So the C pass is just a regular standard 11 by whatever piece of paper so when they drop you off the uber driver drops you off you, like they have these people and they tell you where to go to a, a particular corner so that was a little bit confusing and then there was this huge long line all the way out like out the door and all the way to the end which we just walked in the casino host and i said could you just send me an email confirming we've got priority boarding and the free drink card she sent me back this email saying, well, that's not their policy, and you don't get a free drink card, but if you get a thousand points, and we don't, you don't have VIP boarding. I was like, all right. But then she sent me back another email saying that she would forward the request for priority boarding to the, to the ship, but she wasn't, you know, guaranteeing anything. But when you go in, the, when you're at the port, if you do have priority boarding, skip that giant, 100 yard line and go all the way to the doors and on the left side priority boarding goes in and the lady there she was looking for she was asking people for paperwork and we're just like we have priority boarding and she said okay come on through but there was never a point where I don't know it was weird but act like you have priority boarding if you want. right and then like the and security you, guy was like where's your Oh, he, that was the when we were going through security. That's where they first asked for the C pass. And then he said, "Oh, forget it. I've got all these people in line." He said something like, "You don't look threatening." Or yeah. so then you go through there, and then you get in another line, which is where you um, get your picture taken and sign the health form and. Well, that was pretty much, hard. that was like carnival. They had that pretty down, they all so had we the went, battle. And the lady said, are you priori priority? And we just said, our travel agent said we were. 
And she said, okay, go get in the gold, gold line. And there was really no wait at all for that. And it, it's easy to bluff your way on priority if you want. I mean, that's but not then right. And we get upstairs. And oh, no. oh. that's when we don't have And the guy the asked paper. for the sea pass again. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, I don't even, where do I get this sea pass? And there's this, these two tables right. where you fill out the form for your account. And there's one woman standing there. And all these people are standing around and she's trying to like help them fill out the, the forms for the onboard account. But then since we didn't have the sea pass, I had to fill out another paper that served Is that what the deal was? That was where you signed up for your onboard account? And then, so most of those people just set up their accounts because they had, but how come everybody wasn't stopping them? Because they had their CPAS and they already set it up Oh, online. the CPAS has the account set up? You can do it online if you're using a credit card. If, if you do spend a lot of time and a lot of money in the casino, call Players Tours. Players just, Club. Just Club, Players Club Tours. They're out of Miami, but you put in Players Club Tour and Basically, if you play at a level where you're always getting comps, cruises, they'll ask for like your account number at other casinos you may play. I just gave her one and didn't have the information for our carnival account, but I basically told her I play blackjack at $25 to $50 a hand for you know two to four hours a day and my wife throws money down the slot machines like crazy and it was no big deal. It was like, oh. Let me get back to you. And she called me back and said, uh, when do you want to go? Pick a date. But the money we save by being comp the cruise makes up for that. Things work out. We pretty much pay what we would, but we have fun gambling for it. When you were at that last table filling out those forms, mm -hmm. you were you were like just shaking. Well, just, I was so confused. Like, and that's not her normal wheelhouse either. Usually she's got everything. Normally I have all my ducks in a row. I did not have all my ducks in a row. What are we going to do next when we get done eating and chilling for her? Um, well, I do rooms, want to chill out here. The rooms are ready at one, so and it's a quarter to hell. Oh. 
Oh, on the bottom of here. Oh. Yeah, and then you can turn on this one. <coughs> oh, it does have a little couch. That's a pretty big couch, isn't it? But... Yeah. Oh, you know why it was so dim? I have my sunglasses on. Oh. I guess that'll do it. Green. Closet's over here. Check out the bathroom. Oh, it's got a cool shower. Yeah? Yeah, it's like a cylinder. I like how it's laid out. Yeah. Not bad. Ooh, look at this. That's very nice. Look at all of the plugs. And this is our pre-purchased beverage pack. So what do they charge for the beer? There's no beer. Does that say Miller Lite on the site? Oh, Sprite. <laughs> so how much is the pop? Um, I want to say a six pack of pop was like 12 or 13 dollars. And you're not allowed to bring Papa then, on board yourself any longer, are you? Right. Is that on Carnival or just on Royal Caribbean? Um, I think Carnival still lets you bring a 12-pack. And then this little third of a liter <laughs> and the four sprites. And the little baby vodka is how much? It came with the four sprites and it's um like 35 bucks or something. Once you're on board or on but island, it's cheaper than buying. You can get like bar. one of those giant things of vodka for thirty-five bucks. <laughs> yeah, but you can't drink it. Yeah, that's true. But if you okay. have a bar in your house, get your liquor on your vacation, and watch for it in the gift shop in the liquor store on board. Sometimes they'll have, um, usually like the last couple of days, they'll have like two for ones even, right? Yeah. Yeah. Got you some Coca-Cola.